What's up everybody, Kevin from Palmetto Cats. As many of you know, I said that I was gonna do a live custom bait board build. Well, I'm gonna do it and here are the supplies that you will need to participate. First, you'll need to pick up a pack of stainless steel, very important, stainless steel sheet metal screws with an oval head. Next, you'll need some kind of countersink bit. Then you'll need a 1 8 drill bit. Next, you'll need to purchase a cutting board of your color selection. NSF is the one that I bought, and it's a food grade board. It's 18 by 24 by half inch, and you can get this on Amazon.com. Next, you'll need a piece of sandpaper. This is 100 grit coarse, and basically I use this to sand off all the rough edges. I don't put it on a block or anything, or a power sander because it melts the cutting board. And I just put this in my hand and wrap it around and sand the rough edges. If you're planning on doing this build by yourself, you'll need some clamps to hold the pieces together so that you can screw them together. But you don't have to have these. You just need another person or a lot of talent. Next, if you wanna cut vents in the back of your board, you'll need some kind of template or something that you can trace around for a small half circle. You'll also need a Sharpie marker to help you trace. All right, next you're gonna need some kind of power saw. I use a table saw. I find that it's easier with a table saw, but you can use a circular saw. And if you have to, you can use a reciprocating saw like a skill saw, but I really recommend a circular saw of some sort to cut through this board really quickly. The last thing you're gonna need is something to mount the cutting board to your boat. Depending on what kind of railing you have will determine what kind of system you use. For me, I have a square railing on my pontoon boat. So I bought a plastic Scotty rod holder base and I bought a Scotty depth finder platform to screw into my board and it fits down in there nice and snug. All right, everybody, that's it. That's what you'll need to do this live cutting board build with me. If you want to participate, get all your stuff together. I put links in the description. You can also find these things at hardware stores um, and on amazon.com. Finally, if you'd like to participate, once you have all your supplies together, put a comment in the comment section and say, I'm ready. I'll wait a few weeks to let everybody get their comments in and then I'll schedule the build and I'll let you know so that you can schedule to build with me. All right guys, until next time, happy fishing.